to the Most High, the elders and all the brothers. They brought it out mighty in the spirit. That's right. right. We're gonna keep rolling on with it, man. Hey, this is a beautiful day out here, man, for real. Right? It was beautiful to see the brother and the sister come up and repent and throw their cigarettes out, man. That was beautiful, man. That's right, that's right. Right? It was beautiful that, you know, the other brother he had came up. You know, he was kind of powerful at the beginning, but he humbled down and he got the words of the Lord, man. That's right. That was beautiful, man. Lord willing, them brothers and sisters, they got flyers and they come back and get more edification, man. Right? So we out here, right, to tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you the real Jews and the real Israelites and put into the Bible, right? And we out here in these last days, right, to tell our people to repent and come back to the commandments, man. Right? Read what you got. You know? This is the book of Joel, right. chapter 2, verse 11. Read it out. And the Most High shall utter his voice before his army. What are we? His, his army. army. Right. For his camp. For his what? For, For his, his camp. camp. What are we? His, his camp. camp. Right. It's very great. Right. And the, the Most High camp is just not necessarily Yahweh's camp, man. All the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that teach the words of the Lord and tell our people to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, that's the Lord's camp. We, for he is strong that executes his word. That do what? That executes his word. Right. For the day of the Most High is great and very terrible. No, it's nice and sweet. It's great and very terrible. No, Jesus is gonna come back and love everybody. It's great and very terrible. And your pastor not gonna bring these verses out, man. They're not gonna tell you that the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, man, right? All our people been deceived in these church houses, man, right? Talking about God loves everybody, talking about Jesus loves everybody, right? The Lord not dealing with that, man, right? So if everybody wondering what we doing out here on the streets, the Lord brought us out here, man. Right, for his chosen people, right? Read. We're coming from the book of Isaiah, right. chapter 58, verse 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry, Cry aloud. Right. Spear not. Right. Lift up Get thy up. voice like a trumpet. Do what? Lift, Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. trumpet. Right. And show my people. Do what? And show oh, my I people right. their transgression. What is homosexuality? Their transgressions. What is lesbianism? Their, their transgressions. Right. In the house of Jacob, in the house of who? In the, in the house, house of Jacob, Jacob right. their sins. Right. Yet they seek me daily right. and delight to know my ways right. as a nation right. that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. Right. They ask of 53. The ordinances of justice, they take delight in approaching to God. Right. And that's really it on that, but the brother came up early, he like, why y'all in the streets, right? That's right. Right, he asked uh, the brother, why y'all in the streets uh, preaching the words of the Lord? Because the Lord literally commanded us to come out here and teach the words, man. That's, that's right. Right. Because right? if we don't do it, who else go do it, man? Right. Let me get, uh, you could jump up to verse one, read verse, Con, go to uh, two and one, Con. This is the book of Joel, chapter two, verse one. Right. Right. Blow ye the trumpet of Zion. Do what? Blow ye the, the trumpet, trumpet of Zion. Right. And sound an alarm. And do what? And sound an alarm. So the Lord brought us out here to sound the alarm, man. Right? To let you know that death and destruction is coming to America, man. Right? right? Read. In my holy mountain, right. let all the inhabitants of the land right. tremble. Do what? Let all, all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So that's why the Lord sent us out here, man. To let you know, right, all the inhabitants of the land soon to come, they go tremble, man. Because, you know, our people, they in a comfortable state of mind right now. That's right. Right, right Esau said, come, you know, we give you a bag of weeds, we give you damn $1,500 to take this vaccination, and our people, they okay with that, man. Right, they want everything to go back to normal, man. They want to just go back to their regular lives, right, and work a nine to five, right. But the Lord telling you that all oh, that's going to be put to an end, man. And that's why he sent us out here, man. Because if we don't come out here, who else going to come out here, man? Right? Joel Osteen not going to come out in the streets of Richmond and teach our people the words of the Lord, man. That's right. Right? Creflo Dollar, he not going to come out in the streets of Durham in front of the project and teach our people the words of the Lord, man. Right? Damn, Joel Osteen, he not going to be in downtown Raleigh by the bus station to teach our people the words of the Lord, man. That's right. Right? Cause these people don't give a damn about us, man. Right? Let me start from the top again. 
Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Blow ye the trumpets in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the most high coming for it is night at hand. For it is what? For it, it is night at hand. And the Lord said the day of the Lord is not at hand, man. Huh? Right? And that's what we pray for. We pray that the Most High destroy this wicked ass place, man. That's right. Right? When all our people comfortable living regular lives in America, we pray that the Most High send all the plagues that he put upon Pharaoh and all the Egyptians upon this wicked ass country, man. Right? To deliver us out of captivity. Let me get uh, Baruch and go to chapter 6 and start at the first verse. Read what you got. We're coming from the book of Nehemiah, right. chapter 1, verse 7. Right. We have built very corruptly against thee, right. and have not kept the commandments. They have not did what? Kept the commandments. Why are people at the bottom? Kept the commandments. Right. Nor the statutes, right. nor the judgments, right. which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Right. Remember, I beseech thee. That's it on that, verse 7. Yep. Uh, start from the top. We're coming from the book of Nehemiah, right. chapter 1, verse 7. Right. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, right. and have not kept the commandments, right. nor the statutes, nor the judgments, right. which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Right, and that's why our people are in the condition that they're in right now, man. That's right. right. they at the bottom. They ain't got now one penny in their pocket, right? Brothers, they got to catch the bus back and forth to work, man. We getting shot down by the police, man. Our people living in the slums, the ghettos, and the projects, right? And most of our people don't even know why we in this situation, man. Right. But the Lord sent us out here to let you know, right? To let you know what's going on and why you in this condition and how to come out of this condition. That's right. Read. Baruch, chapter 6, verse 1. Real. Because of the sins which ye have committed before Yahweh for the work. The sins you have committed before your Yahweh, ye shall be led away captives. Why are we in this condition? We shall be led away captives. Right. The Lord said for the sins that you have committed, you will be led away captives, man. That's why we're not in our homeland today. And the Most High sent us all the way from the land of Israel, and now we're in the streets of damn Richmond, man. That's right. Living in the projects. We're in the streets of uh, in Detroit and Chicago, man. That's right. Living in low conditions, man. That's right. Read. And to Babylon right. by Nutchabanasser, king of the Babylonians. Right. And now we in modern day Babylon, which is the United States of America, man. Right? And the modern day Nebuchadnezzar is all these wicked ass presidents that our people let to vote for, man. That's right. And if you want to get deeper than that, it's the damn uh, Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, all the people that's above that, right? That's right. That's, that's behind the scenes that you that you don't they don't put on TV, man. These are the people they don't put on the media, man. Right? They use the, uh, the president as a face, as a puppet, to go out there so they can have a face for the media, man. Right? But the service of the Lord, we really know what's going on behind closed doors, man. Right? Read what you got. We're coming from the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Neither have we did what? Obey the voice of the Lord our God right. to walk in his laws, to walk, to walk in his laws, right, which he has they set before us by his servants, the prophets. Right. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. We have done what? Transgressed thy law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. For the what? The curse is poured upon us. What is living in low conditions? The curse is poured upon us. Being shot down by the police. The curse is poured upon us. The oath and the oath that is written in the law of Moses. The servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges. Right. And the Lord, he confirmed the words that he sent against us, man. That's how you know these scriptures and this Bible is real, man. That's right. Because when the Lord told Moses that the children of Israel, they're going to be cursed, right? They're going to be uh, cursed in the city and cursed in the field. You can see that today. And that's true history. Like the elders bringing out, you can't deny history, man. 
We got history on our side, man. That's how you know who these scriptures is talking about. That's how you know it's talking about our people. Because we the only people throughout history that fit the curses of the uh, scriptures, man. That's right. Read. That judged us right. by bringing upon us a great evil. A what? A great evil. Is the so-called white man? A great evil. Right. For under the whole heaven right. have not been done, has done Jackie, has been done upon Jerusalem. Right, read that again. Read that part again. Under the whole heaven right. have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. That's right. And we under a, a supernatural uh, curse, man. Right? That's how you know who this book is talking about, man. Right? Because all the curses that the Lord put upon us, right, all these other nations can identify with that, man. Right? Growing up in the lifestyle that we grew up, man, you don't see the so-called Chinese man sitting in the damn alley getting drunk, man. You don't see the so-called white man talking about, oh, this mob block, what you doing over here, man? Right? Throwing up gang signs on each other, man. Right? Right? Read that. Verse 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us. Right? Yet may... We, not our prayer, before the Lord, our God. Right, and our people, we still don't make our prayers to the Most High, man. We out here getting killed every single day, man. That's our right. people out here destroyed every single day, right? What does it go take for our people to turn back to the Most High, man? How long have you have to be destroyed for you to understand that you got to return back to the Lord, man? That's right. Right, read. That we might turn from our iniquities right. and understand thy truth. Right. Therefore, hath the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. Right. For the Lord, our God, is righteous in all his works, right. which he doeth. Right. For we obey not his voice. Right. And now, O Lord, our God, that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and has gotten thee renowned as at this day we have sinned, we have done wickedly. We have done what? We have yeah, done wickedly. All right, read, read what you got. This is the book of Isaac, Ezekiel, right. chapter 37, verse 1. Read it out. The hand of the Most High was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Most High. And set me down in the, in the midst of the battle. Most High was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Most High and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Which is what? Which was full of bones. What is Richmond, Virginia? Which is full of bones. And caused me to pass them round about. And behold, there were many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. They were what? They, they were, were very dry. dry. Right. And he said unto me, Son of man, right. can those bones live? Right. And I answered, O oh, Yahweh, thy powers, thou knowest. Verse Come. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, right. and say unto them, right. O oh, ye dry bones, right. hear the word of the Lord. We're trying to tell our people. Hear the words of the Lord. Thus said the most high power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. What the Lord say? I will cause breath to enter into you. And ye shall live. Ye shall what? And ye shall live. Ye shall what? And ye shall live. Because our people damn dead out here, man. That's right. You see. Hey, you going to get your ass beat. You better keep moving, this Hey man, that damn devil better get on somewhere, man. He gonna get put to death up here, man. We all still, hey man. Hey man, we got folly and madness, man. Homosexuals out here, man. What the hell going on out here, man? Man, you got damn faggots all over the damn place, man. Read, keep, read, 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 just read on with you. Verse six. Hey, Salaki, and this ain't nothing but uh, Satan, man. Hold, hold what you got, bring out Mark 4 and 14, man. 
This ain't nothing but Satan trying to distract, yeah, right, right? Trying to distract our people, man. That's to right. take away the words of the Lord, man. That's right. That ain't nothing but Satan, man. Damn homosexuals, man. The Lord called our men to be mighty warriors in these last days, man. That's right. To be austere, man. Right? And our, our brothers, man, they, they out here damn with their nails painted, man. Damn tight ass pants on. Got a damn uh damn high heels on. That's what the hell's right. going on out here, man? If you don't get it together, the Lord gonna put y'all wicked asses to death, man. That's right. right. You too. Hey. Another one. Another one. Right, man. Demons out, here. Demons out here, man. Read what you got. We're coming from the book of St. Mark, chapter 4, verse 14. The sower sowed the word. What? The sower sowed the word. What are we doing? The sower sowed the word. And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they are sown, when they have heard talking, Satan cometh immediately. Who cometh immediately? Satan cometh immediately. Who is that damn devil right there? Satan cometh immediately. And take it away the word that was sown in their heart. He do it what? And say he take it the words that was sown in their heart. And that's what that damn devil trying to do, man. We not paying that damn devil no attention, man. We out here for our people, man. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. We not dealing with that damn trash, man. Come, keep it walking up the street, you damn devil. That's right. We ain't out here for you, man. Up here playing games, man. Right. We ain't playing games with these damn devils, man. That's right. And these, right. The, these the same people our people want to love, man. Bring it out. Coming up here playing like this a damn game, man. Wake him up, up. Right. Where, where I had you at before that? Don't get calm, too close to that calm, thing. Calm, calm, calm. Uh, yeah, read what you got, man. Like, where I had you at? We're coming from the Book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. You know? As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. That could not what? That could not save us. They hunt our steps. They do what? They hunt our steps. What do they do our children? They hunt our steps. And hey, our people, we look for help outside of the Most High, man. Right? We want to look help from all these other nations, man. How the hell you going to look for help for this damn devil, man? He's base he a damn cave beast, man. How the hell is he going to deliver us out of captivity, man? Right? This man this man is the lowest man upon the face of the earth. And you really think he going to save you out of your captivity? Right? Right? Read that again from the top. We're coming from the book of Lamentations, right. chapter 4, verse 17. Right. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. Right. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. That could not what? That could not save us. That could not what? That, that could not save us. Right, and our, that's why our people need to wake the hell up, man. Right? Our people need to wake the hell up, man. Right? Like the brothers was bringing out, like, right, about the George Floyd trial, right? They, they, they go on TV and they tell you that this damn devil been sentenced, but you don't really know that, man. They can tell you anything on TV and let that devil go free, man, right? And after that, all our people still getting shot down. Like the brother was saying, right after the trial, you had about eight, ten of our people, right, that they brought out on, um, on TV talking about they got shot down, man. That was just a disguise to distract our people, man. That damn case ain't do a damn thing. Our people still getting killed in the streets, man. That's right. And our people need to wake up because they still want to go out here and vote for the same white man that's killing them in the streets, man. That's right. How stupid can you be, man? Oh, man, uh, another white man just shot my brother in the street. Uh, let me go put him in the office. What the hell type of sense do that make, man? That's right. Our people destroyed out here, man. Read what you got. Read on. Verse 18, they hunt our steps. They do what? They hunt our steps. That we cannot go in our streets. And we can't even go in our streets, man. You see what happened to that brother, uh, Amar Aubrey? He was, all he was doing is jogging down the damn street, and a couple of them might shot him down, man. That's right. Right? So our people need to wake up, man. Right? And that's why we need to come back as a nation to the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Because these damn police, they lie talking about they come to uh, protect and serve. They ain't coming to do that, man. Right. They coming to kill and destroy, man. That's right. Bring it out. Right? When they pull up to a so-called black man or woman, they're not, oh, uh, let me see the, uh, the best way I can to uh, help these people out. They're not doing that, man. They're like, damn, how can I get away with killing another nigga, man? That's their mind state, man. Read what you got. This the book of Deuteronomy, right. chapter 16, right. verse 18. Bring it out. Judges and officers. What the Lord said? 
judges and officers shall thou make peace in all the gates. Shall thou rep, make peace in all thy gates. Right, that's why the most I told us we need to have our own judges and our own officers, man. That's gonna judge you by the laws of the Lord, man. Cause these damn punk ass officers that they got in Babylon the Great, they're not out here to uh, judge you righteously, man. Right? When that situation happened with the brother uh Salaki, with the sister in Ohio, man, right? Our people, all our elders that was in that neighborhood, they should have took care of that they sales, man. Right? I understand, but it's like, okay, the sister, she had a knife, right? Right? That, that still don't mean the police had the right to kill that sister, man. Right? Our people, instead of going out there and helping, right? All the elders coming out there like, look, man. I don't know what y'all got going on with y'all sisters, and y'all need to love each other, man. Y'all need to squash whatever the hell you got going on, man. Instead of that happening, all the elders coming out there, reporting it, putting on World Star, man. Right? And then the so-called white man pull up, and he ain't coming to protect the sir. He's coming to put people to death, man. Right? Read. Which the most high, the Yahweh, give it peace throughout the tribe. And they shall judge the people with the just judgment. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not re respect persons. Neither take a gift. For a gift to blind the eyes of the wise. Like, give me the book of uh, Psalm 144 and start at verse 1. Because there's damn demons out here, man. We finna rebuke all these damn demons, man. Right? People out here thinking it's a game, man. The Lord ain't out here playing games with nobody, man. He ain't out here playing games with you wicked ass Jakes. He ain't out here playing games with you wicked ass nations, man. Bring it out. Right? The Lord is a man of war and he about putting people to death, man. That's right. Right? Read what you got. We're coming from the book of Jeremiah. Right. Chapter 16, verse 16. Bring it out. Behold, I will send for many fishers. Many what? Many fishers. And that's what the Lord sent us out here to be, man. We out here trying to fish our people back, right? Trying to hook them and bring them back to the words of the Most High, right? But what's going to happen after that? Read. Send the Lord, right. and they shall fish them. Right. And after will I send for many hunters. For many what? For, for many, many hunters. hunters. What we going to be? For many, many hunters. hunters. Right. And like I told that damn devil, right? That damn cameraman that came up acting like he was sorry, man. That damn devil slivered away. I told him, look, we going to hunt your ass down, man. Right. right. The Lord said he going to send for many hunters, man. Right. Right. So in these days, this, that's why we got to come back to the most high, man. Because we want the most high to give us that spiritual power, man. In that day, man, if I see that damn Edomite again, man, right? Yeah, a gun, a gun cool, a knife is cool, but I ain't finna pull up and do no job by on that damn Edomite, man. Right? I got, I want a damn, a bloody and gruesome and special death for that damn devil, man. Right? Right, man? I ain't gonna run up on that damn devil and try to stab him. It ain't gonna be none of that, man. I wanna run up on that damn devil and snatch your damn esophagus out, man. Run up on that damn devil, bust open his rib cage and rip all his damn organs out, man. Right? I wanna snatch your damn devil up by his neck and squeeze onto his head until his junk pop like a water balloon. That's right! That's right! Right? We want gruesome and bloody deaths upon you damn devils, man. Coming up here thinking it's a game, man. Coming up here talking about, oh, I'm sorry, you got on your knees. Anybody could have did that, man. Right? When we tell you to kiss the boot, he ain't want to do that, man. We'll kiss that boot. Right? That we did pride. more than, we, we had to do way more than just kiss the boot of these damn devils. That's man. right, man. Right? Right? When they stole us from the west coast of Africa, man, right? Like the brothers was bringing out, they made our women whores, man. They raped our children, man. Right? When we ask you to kiss the boot, you don't want to do that, man. Right? Matter of fact, what's that in Proverbs 16 and 18, I believe? Probably going before destruction. God, you bring that up. Everybody that damn devil, he was proud as hell, man. Everybody in Richmond smokes cigarettes. Right? <laughs> Everyone. God, 16 and 18 Proverbs. Right? <laughs> Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16. Verse 18, pride right goes before destruction. What the Lord say? Pride right goes before destruction. That damn devil, he gonna be destroyed, man. Cause he came up here prideful as hell, man. Right? Try to act like he was uh he was sorry for what he did, man. Let me get uh let me get Psalm 55 and 20. Right? These damn devils, they gonna come up here and pretend like they they your friends, man. Act like they damn sorry, man. Right? 
Come on, sister. Talk to Come on, sister. Go, 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 sister.